Yes, good day to all my viewers and all my subscribers who are going. Yeah, man, it's another election day in Jamaica. You see me, I say. All right, now, I just appeal to all my viewers and subscribers. If they them go out, they go vote more. They them go do it peacefully. You see me, I say, and hope and reach home safe. You see me, I say, yeah, man, keep it positive, no negativity, and just be safe, all right? Yeah, man, so 2020 is now officially one of the worst year them so far. But now, like, right now, you're here deal with, with entertainment artists, them are weird both dance hall and reggae because now it is said that veteran dj major mackerel has lost a portion of his right leg to diabetes he is currently recovering at the Nuttall memorial hospital in kingston and major mackerel response was me lose peace on my foot but me still have a whole of life major mackerel told the jamaica observer yesterday i don't know life are the greatest thing you see me i say may lose him foot and can't move on quickly as i used to but you don't know you have life and another important thing, your eyesight, you see me? Yeah, man, so carry on. It is said that the 52-year-old who has been battling diabetes for the past three decades said he came close to death's door. And Major Michael response again was, me did a look from Bob Marley, Dennis Brown, and Sugar Miner to over the other part, and I said, me nah, come over there, we do know, he said. <laughs> well, Michael, easy, you know. So carry on, because you don't know, Marley died in May 1981, while Brown passed away in July 1999. Minor at a dance hall legend died in July 2010. So Major Macri said, I have been diabetic for the last 30 years. So all of the years I hear about Major Macri, my diabetic and insulin dependent. It attacked one of my foot, it pies in my foot and pies in my body, he said. The DJ said his life changing surgery took place last Thursday. Me lose piece of my foot below my knee on the right foot. So as soon as me heal up, but they back all over the world, said Major Mackerel, who has received an outpouring of love from the entertainment fraternity and fans. Uncle Freddie McGregor, come give me a check. I want to say thanks to all the artists, them Spraga Benz, the Soundway family, Merciless, Juna Cat, Beanie Man, Bunty Killer, Elephant Man, Conscience, Assassin, the whole of the man, them, we send out support, the race house circuit, because I love the race house thing. Everybody will speak highly. Remember, Major Mackerel did a wonderful job in my time of prime. And I never show off for nobody. Me never left nobody a road. Me never close no door for nobody. And I never bad mind nobody. I'm grateful for all the people who make this ordeal easier for me, he said. Me lose my friend, Pad Antonio. Let me use this opportunity to send condolences to his friends, family, and everyone around him. Sigur Pad Antonio, a popular sound system figure in the 1980s, died on August 28. He was 57. The cause of death is yet to be determined. Major Mackerel also spoke highly of Dr. Dean Wright of Medical Associates, as well as the courteous staff there and not all Memorial Hospital. Major Mackerel is given name Garfield Dixon, Start playing his trade in 1978. He reaped success in 1980s with a slew of hit songs including Dan Man, Pretty Looks Done, Dotty Bungle, Miss Getty Getty, Lava Mountain, Cowcad. He migrated to the United States in the late 1990s in 2009. He grabbed Ed's line but not for his music. He was the victim of a vicious attack that left him with wounds inflicted by a man wielding a samurai sword. According to reports from the police in New York, the artist was slashed across the head and hand in a fight outside his East Flatbush home by a jealous husband. You see me, I say, yeah man, so, for all who don't really remember Major Mackerel, as we said before, the man do a whole heap of songs like Dan Man, Pretty Looks Done None, You Know Get, Dirty Bungo, Miss Getty Getty Them. Yeah, man, I'm one of the veteran artists that come pave the way for the younger generation them today. You see me, I say, yeah, man, so, I don't lie. I say, yo, a, 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 a speedy recovery to the, the veteran DJ. You see me, I say, speedy recovery. You see me, I say, it may not really hot in a Jamaica right now, but them man are still a tour down the whole world, Europe and the whole place. You see me, I say, yeah, man, them man are pave the way, daddy. You see me, I say, yeah, man, so, we just have to say a speedy recovery to the artist. You see it? And remember, one of cast life, a simple thing. You see me, I say, even though your, your foot gone, and, and you, can't, you can't use both legs, and move on as quickly as how you used to, 
See myself, but you still can't move around and you still have your eyesight. You still have life. Yeah, man. So, speed recovery, my brother. Or up on Father Road, come go and continue the work. See, so, I say, yeah, man. Just come go and put in the work and please your fans them right across the world. You see it, my family. Yes, I bless up. So, them for no other from Boston, I say, subscribe to Street Banger. Line is, you know what thing go. Top boss say you live in the dream. Upstate, you and the oven team. Them not say the thing alright. Yo, Lineage, the thing alright. Subscribe, YouTube channel, Lineage. Oof. Yeah, some of you were speaking up on the singer Pad and Tony. So me say, cause it is said that singer Hartley and Tony, Pad and Tony Wallace, a popular figure on the sound system circuit during the 1980s, died in Kingston on August 28th. And Tony, who was pronounced dead at the Kingston Public Hospital, was 57 years old. His son Sean told the Jamaica Observer that an autopsy will determine the cause of death. Born Hartley Anthony Wallace, Pad Anthony was from the Paynans community in Kingston. He began his recording career at Channel One Studio in the late 1970s, cutting covers of Alton Ellis Blackman's World and Ray Charles Crying Time, backed by the Roots Radix Band. In the 1980s, Anthony established himself as a sound system force, performing regularly on the Black Star sound system alongside fellow singers Opton, Lindo, Danny Dredd, and DJ Tiger. He also recorded He also recorded and performed for producer Lloyd, King Jammies, James label and sound system. James produced a murder, one of his biggest hits. Through his association with James, Anthony developed a band with producer Robert, Bobby Digital Dixon, and Steely and Cleavy, who were the indie house engineer and musician at James Studio. His biggest hit was the Bobby Digital produce Shake Them Down, who have the title produced by Steely and Cleavy, remains a sound clash favorite. Hartley and Tony, Pad and Tony, while they survive, by a wife, Georgia, eight children, and four grandchildren. You see me, I say, yeah, man, so, I now like 2020 is officially the one of the worst year, daddy. Yeah, man, you hear an attack with artists, them are way. You see me, I say, both reggae and dance art. You see me? Yeah, man, so right now, I just send out condolences, goes out to the Pad and Tony family. You see me, I say, from the street bang lineage family. You see me, I say, yeah, man, I now like, we know. It's a sad loss. I say it's a sad loss, but you don't know. We have to just carry on, you know. We have to just move on and carry on and just continue to do the great job works. You see me? Yeah, man. So, I say condolence to the family, daddy. It's sad. I say, I say all my viewers and subscribers, yeah, man, you can just leave a, a SIP or RIP in the comment section below. You see me? I say to the veteran, them. You see me? The one them come pave the way for the younger generation today. So I say, if the man never did start off the strips and, 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 and I put in the work, probably wouldn't even know about music, daddy. You see me, so I have to send respect. So I say, I will love, I have to salute the veterans, them. You see me? So that's why I take a time out and now, you have to acknowledge, you see me? Acknowledge the veterans, them. The artists, them will pave the way for the sound system, for the music that we have today. You see me, I say, them artists are paved the way, so we are sending out respect. You see me, I say, much love. You see me, I say, yeah, man. So, peace to recovery, quick recovery to the artist, Major Macrill. You see me, I say, and condolence to the Pad and Tony family. You see me, I say, yeah, man. So, until next time, you know, right now, we reach the end of this video. I don't know a lot more on the way. You see me, I say, so until next time, Lineage Vibes there. Yeah, man, we have say, peace out. You see me, I say, keep safe, my viewers and subscribers. Keep safe. You hear what I said? Keep safe. You see it.